Hey guys, so we're up here at the old shed here today. We're gonna be getting out the uh, Bullens QT16. Uh, this is another one of the uh, tractors that I have uh, second sh second chance at ownership. Uh, I had this years ago, and uh, my cousin and cousin-in-law purchased it from me. They ended up using it for a couple years, and uh, got done using it with the work that they needed to do with it, and uh, I ended up buying it back. But the reason I got the John Deere 430 out is because the battery in this thing is, uh, is dead, and I gotta jump start it. So we're gonna be using the 430 to do that. Uh, this thing's got a 54 inch snow plow on it and uh, my cousin-in-law had the seat redone it's like a I think it, he said it was like a gator skin the thing is nice it's very comfortable too um, another thing the tractor has is a three-point lift and we're gonna need to get this tractor out because I got to use that to move another tractor so Hopefully, if I remove that block underneath the plow, the plow won't go all the way down. Uh, we gotta get this uh, thing out far enough that I can pull the tractor up close enough to hook the jumper cables to it. But the problem with it is, you can see this stack that uh, he has on the one side here. Uh, the other side had that as well, but the uh, pipe broke off flush with the block the engine so I got to try and get that out too uh, I got a tool that I can go in there and uh, probably cut a small section out here and here and then take a there's enough here I think that I can uh, get like a uh, uh, yeah what the hell do you call it I want to say a punch but I know that's not it <laughs> the the name slips my mind chisel that's it get a chisel in here and try and tap this in here from a couple different angle, angles and compress this and pull that out. Hopefully without ruining the thread so I can put another pipe in here. And what we'll probably end up doing because the original exhaust wasn't here is we're gonna run some pipes that come up kind of like the original, but we're gonna put like a 90 on them and run them straight out. Hopefully getting them to go out through the grill here. Maybe not out beyond the grill but up close to the grill so it, it just exits at the grill so we don't have to worry about any uh, exhaust fumes being up under the hood you can see kind of it's pretty black under here so we're gonna be uh, like I said we're gonna try and pull this thing out here and once uh, we get it out hook the jumper cables up we'll do a cold start all right so we got the jumper cables hooked up from the 430 up to the QT16. I know this thing was difficult to start cold. I think it needs some uh, carburetor TLC, but see what happens here. Uh, turn the fuel on. I don't remember if I I don't remember if I ran it out of fuel or not, but here goes nothing, I guess. Battery's still dead. Can you bump the RPM up on that a little bit? the RPM up on that a little bit. See what I mean. I forgot to 
check the fuel, but I think there's enough in it. Oh yeah, plenty of fuel in there. But this is usually what it does, which is why I say it needs some carburetor work. if it's because the the one has a stack on yet and the other one don't so it's uneven back pressure or what down all the way maybe I can get it to warm up Not the greatest cold start, but it does need work. By the way, besides the fact that it has the uh, three point on the rear, it also came with a uh, the old rototiller. That's a, a 48, no, not 48, a 40, 40 inch tiller that can go on the back of that thing too, and the tire chains came with it too. So, well. At least we got it started anyway. Now I gotta let it warm up and try and go do some work with it. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you.